Our observable universe is a sphere 96 billion light years across, and the entire universe might be infinite in size, which is a hoarder's dream walk-in closet space stuffed full of things. It's loaded down with so much stuff that we've even given up naming things individually and now just spew out a list of letters and numbers to try and keep track of it all. So as is traditional, in a fit of adolescent OCD and one-upmanship reserved generally for things like tanks, planes, and guns, we're drawn to the question, what's the biggest thing in the universe? Well, 14-year-old Fraser Kane put down your copy of Weapons and Warfare Volume 3, which you picked up at the dollar store as part of an incomplete set, as this is going to get a little tricky. It all depends on what you mean by a thing. The biggest physical object is probably a star, and the largest possible red giant star could be as big as 2100 times the size of our sun. And placed inside our solar system, a monster star like this would extend out past the orbit of Saturn. Now that's big, but we might be able to get even bigger if we're willing to get past the idea that a thing has to be a homogeneous physical object. Consider the regions around supermassive black holes. Now within our galaxy, things are pretty quiet, but around actively feeding black holes, there could be disks of material with such temperature and density that they act like the core of a star, fusing hydrogen into helium, which purely based on huge volumetric density of pure awesome, I'm going to call it a thing. An accretion disk around a quasar could be light days across, extending well past the orbit of Pluto and killing us all if you dumped it into our solar system. So if we're going to be all philosophical about what constitutes a thing, and you're not all fussy about physical structure, and just want a collection of material held together by gravity, then we can really make some leaps and bounds in who's got the biggest thing measuring contest. Our own galaxy extends up to 120,000 light years across, and they're much larger galaxies, one that make the Milky Way look like that cat leash pendant from Men in Black 2. And ours is just one contained within a much larger cluster of galaxies known, rather unimaginatively, as the local group. Now don't let this centrist name fool you. This cluster contains around 50 galaxies and measures more than 10 million light years across. And we're just getting started. The local group is one part of the Virgo supercluster, a massive galactic structure that measures 110 million light years apart. And in 2014, Astronomers announced that the Virgo supercluster is just one lobe of an even larger structure, beautifully known as Lanakea, or Immeasurable Heaven in Hawaiian. Now, the name originated from Napoleon, an associate professor of Hawaiian languages at Kapolani Community College, and it honors the Polynesian sailors using heavenly knowledge navigating the Pacific Ocean, reminding us romance is still alive and well in space and astronomy. Now, Lanakea is centered around the Great Attractor, a mysterious source of gravity drawing galaxies towards it. And we did a video about it, and we'll link to it in the closing credits. Now, I almost forgot about our size contest. So who's got the biggest space thing? Well, according to Buzzkill, Ethan Siegel from Starts With a Bang, you can't actually have a structure that's as big as Lanakea and call it a thing. Because the fine point reality is that the expansion of the universe is being accelerated by dark energy. And these galaxies are being pushed apart by dark energy faster than gravity can pull them together. So they'd never be able to form into a single object given enough time. In other words, the largest possible object is a collection of galaxies at the exact size where gravity is just strong enough to overcome the expansive force of dark energy. And beyond that, everything's getting spread apart. And it's our purposes. We're actually going to draw a line and say it's not quite right to call it a thing. Unless you'd suggest a giant expanse of nothing is a thing, but we'll save that for another episode. So what do you think? Do you feel like it's right to call superclusters like Lanakea a structure? Well, thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community 
is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Michael Armini and Nigel Olton and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Do you want to get in on the action? Click here. And measures more than a hundred, no, sorry, I screwed it up. <laughs>